everyone ammo here for more monolith sudden death sudden death one hp anything hits us we're super dead anything at all touches us so much as gives us a, a a mean look we're goners otherwise we have 300 hp so everything dies really fast so the run should be easy because it should be we run through murder everything without breaking a sweat and victory gg we are victorious hasn't been working out uh, we get hit by some random, simple, small mistake, like I run into a room, don't react to a bullet fast enough, the whole thing's over. So we do need to be very aware the whole time of our surroundings. Gaining six power bombs actually isn't that bad in this mode because we are so sensitive to damage, but I don't want to lose a permanent bomb. A freezing chain lightning spear is good. So is a piercing revolver. I'll take the, I don't like the homing though. Especially on a pierce, a homing pierce sounds kind of awkward. That one lets us do that kind of fun stuff. And I do like the spear. I think I like the spear more in Sudden Death than I do a regular spear. It just does its damage so discreetly. I think it's, fun. it's very satisfying. Just pew, pew, pew. Harpoon them all there. Don't lightning me, bro. Please do not lightning me. A burrow. Uh, fortune, cheaper shops. Yeah, I'll take some cheaper shop items. And get more ammunition drops out of that. Like that, a little more ammunition right there. Hello, forgotten ring leader. With the stack up spears inside of him. And dead ring leader. Boom, 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 boom. Give me my stuff. Give me my prizes. Thank you. Look for a secret room. Should be right here. 5% damage. I like damage. Even when we have 300% damage. I like 305%. You know what I like more than 300% damage? 305% damage. This thing's anti-machine. You didn't realize. It's going to be anti-having any ammunition here in a second, so I have to be careful with that. Ammunition? Could gamble for it. Gambling never pays, though. Okay, we're good. Oh, we have shop items are cheaper already. Blink, extra uh, reserves. Extra power probably would have been safer, but being safe hasn't paid out that well. So I'll go back to being aggressive. We'll, al we'll alternate. Let's see what happens. Don't run to the exhaust. It's an infuriating way to die. I want some ammunition back, please. Please. Thank you. Uh, time bomb, no thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Bullets, just twisty bullets. I panicked for a second. I got some target fixation, almost ran right into them. It didn't look like it, but I assure you, that was more dangerous than it, than it seemed on the outside. That's our new gun area, where I can purchase a, uh, a new gun. The spear should be well enough to kill our boss, though. Ah, oh, that's a bullet! I almost ran into that bullet. Oh, okay. We're fine, though. Portals, still don't worry about it. We're fine. There's our... Okay, we'll go fight our boss. Kill him with a spear. Demon can actually be kind of scary. Kill the demon with this spear, get a new gun, then go to the vault. Maybe get the vault gun. Alright, demon's dead. Here, pop it. It's a piercing charge infested or a ricochet Vulcan. You only have 12 bullets, so I might as well salvage it. Ooh, more weapons. A shielded razor. Razor's almost great. And a line spear? Not that good. Pulsar, not good enough. A piercing Vulcan's probably the best. Fall closely by the spear in second place. There. Increases maximum ammunition. And more maximum ammunition. 
And the first secret room can't be there. It has to be right here. Which is 10% damage. 325% damage, a piercing weapon, and 60% ammunition is alright. I can handle that. This is scary. We're alright though, but that was uh, a hazard for sure. Stay away. Stay away. Everything stay away from me. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I was a panicking. You're panicking. That was scary. We're all right, though. Stop just flying around everywhere. I'm getting nervous. Making me nervous. Extra money. Thank you very much. Everything's dead. I, I don't want that yet. Right? Yeah, no, we don't want that yet. This is a good weapon. We're fine. Ah, don't shoot me through the hole. That'd be embarrassing. That's lightning. We're not Voltaic. Gotta be careful of that. Made that mistake before. Especially like, oh, I don't need to be Voltaic. We're just fine. You be careful getting at all close to that scenario. Increase ammunition. Yes, please. How about extra bombs? Yeah, sure. We'll take a swarm bomb at least. Like the cheap shop items, those money we're getting. We got fortune, right? I already forgot what perks we got. Losing my mind, because we've been doing this uh, sudden death, like, uh, kind of a... A few attempts now at this sudden death attempt. Uh, attempts at the attempts, a few attempts at the sudden death victory, the sudden death run. Kind of perk. Do we have we had blink, right? Do we have blink? Even more bombs or more ammunition? I'll take more ammunition. You do not have blink. That's pretty brutal. Although to be fair, I haven't been using it that well in the sudden death mode. What are you doing down there, Ice Ghost? All your friends are up here playing. You're just hanging out. This is terrifying. God split. That was not all. I should have just bombed. We need to. If we're scared, just bomb. For it, there are some rooms where we are very likely to take damage upon entry. In those rooms, we can't be afraid to just pop a bomb. Because obviously, using one bomb is worth way less than just losing the whole run. So you need to get in the habit of if it's a room with something like icicles and a bunch of enemies that explode in bolts after a delay, just bomb. Create some space. Get yourself clear. Be safe. Safety first. No need to die just to save one bomb when you had like five or six bombs, or however many we had at the time. Super silly. Poor strategy at the very best. A uh, key for a vault or a homing laser? Yeah, I think a homing laser. Forget the vault. See you later, vault nerd. We don't get our all doors. Our all doors unlocked. Uh. Achievement for exploration. I'll live with that though. Also, this weapon's gonna about to break in like five seconds. Ooh, these are all fine. Take a discount. Because I want to be able to buy a lot of ammunition and ammunition upgrades. As frequently as we can afford them. Speaking of ammunition, thank you very much. Thank you, Swarmers, for killing things for me. It's a little bit more damage. I do kind of want the damage. <laughs> Can't lie. Fighter boss, what's up? I kind of a long Chamber Lord fight, all things considered. Oh yeah, 300% damage, none of these fights should take very long at all. Not our secret room. 5% damage. Really should buy the ammunition. Oh, whoops, I stumbled into more damage. My bad. I told, I told you I have a problem, I have a damage addiction. I'm a damage addict. My name is... My name's Ammo. 
I have a damage addiction. I just can't say no to more damage. I have support groups. We meet every Thursday. You find yourself making poor decisions just in pursuit of more damage. Everyone's welcome. It's completely anonymous. If you so choose it to be, of course. Welcome to share with the class your identity if you so choose. No. <laughs> Don't hit the invincible guys. Hit the threatening ones. Uh, need to go trade in this weapon. For a chain line runic, which is. Uh, runic has not been doing well for us lately. Bang. I like the sound effect and visuals of runic, though. Slightly more damage. Well, take might be better just because we're so vulnerable to death, even from something that doesn't hit us very often. Like, uh, lightning. We tend to be decent at dodging lightning. Bombs and use the bombs. And you use bombs, use the bombs. Don't be scared of bombs. Cannot be afraid to bomb. We'll never make it if we're afraid to bomb. Should be our catchphrase. Don't be afraid to bomb. All right. Ooh, no, that's a terrible catchphrase. No, I'm just saying. I'm sorry to mean that. Do be afraid to bomb. Don't bomb things. Never bomb. Bombs are bad. Don't be a bomber. Ooh, are you kidding me? He come. He's right. Come on. <laughs> He's right on top of me. What am I? What am I supposed to do there? What am I supposed to do there? If we had blink, we might be able to blink right past him, but we didn't have blink. Sad. I was feeling pretty confident about that. I was feeling good about that one. In again, and once more into the fray. Boom, boom. Shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, discount, blink, stealth, extra pow. In fact, just a lot are fine. I think the bonus, the improved base weapon. Just because that's what we're using right now. Stealth, I think we should prioritize stealth a little bit more. We've done it before in these sudden death runs. But it is pretty good to prioritize stealth. Anti-magic. I think because we have the reserves, so we have an upgraded base weapon... The potentially losing the weapon by taking the vault isn't that bad, because what we have in place of a weapon right now is totally acceptable. Dude, kill that many bosses in like 10 seconds. No problem. I wish he didn't explode in a giant bullets after taking forever to explode. It gets me all the time. I check out our vault. It is more damage. I'm fine. More damage. 320% damage on the first floor with an improved base weapon. So I'll take us to kill Guardian with that. Hey, it's just not the fastest boss fight ever, but it's plenty quick enough. Poor Guardian. We've been slaughtering this guy. He's just... What's he supposed to do? Doesn't stand, I almost feel bad for him. He doesn't stand a chance. Even more damage. We got, what, 15... 25% damage on that floor? Completely unnecessarily, because we already have 300, but now I have 325. Go for 400% damage. Blink, stealth, uh... Fortune's great for extra ammunition. I'll take stealth. That gives enemies take longer to activate once we run into the room, giving us time to kill them before they even shoot at us. Which, as you can imagine, pretty good <laughs> in this uh, in this format. Increases maximum ammunition. We want that, even though we don't have a weapon yet. We're going to get a weapon eventually. Surely, we'll get a weapon. We won't just be on reserves the whole time. Although that would not be a bad run. There's actually an achievement for never picking up a weapon. Which I imagine that run would actually look something like this. Or just get early reserves. This is a nightmare. I am so glad he died there. Portals and 
spinning bullets. That was a recipe for disaster. Gain bomb. Lose a max bomb, gain power bombs. Nah, I'm good. Thanks, but no thanks. Okay. Kamikaze enemies are getting old. Can we, can we, can they stop? Please? I'm not a fan of their continued existence. Oh, so we have a spear, laser, I mean, we could just take the vault strategy again. Reserves are still working just fine. Come on, that room was ridiculous. Mostly because these guys take so long to die. And we had so little, we should have maneuvered back around there, bombed, and then got away from them. That reserves was not a good choice to keep for that particular room, but that room, five vault cores? Ouch. Mostly because in Sun Death, the, the delay they have before dying after you kill them is brutal. Because I'm like, okay, I killed him, but he's still a threat. Like, he's still moving. He's not dead where I wanted to be dead. And he can't, there's nothing you can do to stop him from moving after that point. Or then you should have just killed him a little bit earlier. Which, you know, there's a limit even at 300% damage how quickly you can kill these guys. He just uh, suck punch me in the face. Let's risk a sudden death. Sometimes you die very suddenly. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Another run. No problem. Maybe I have enough money. You don't get a lot of money for failures. Might have enough money for a like a drill, which sounds like it'd be either really overpowered in sudden death or useless. <laughs> like some modifications of the razor. Super overpowered or useless. Sure, phasing Thunderhead. Speaking of not as much damage as you would like, Thunderhead kind of fits the bill for not doing nearly as much damage as you'd like. Also, this whole bouncing ricochet thing seems to be working out really awkwardly. Bouncing phasing. So it bounces and then phases. Oh, convenient. I'll take it to say I wouldn't mind a new weapon. Both of these, I don't. I'm not a fan of any of these weapons we got so far. Runic, we've been struggling with Runic and Sun Death specifically. Sword just seems like a bad idea. And what we had wasn't working out either. Blink, give. We're having a good straight a good streak of getting blink all the time. And then just lately. What I where, where did you go? He was he was hiding. I think he was blinking. And that threw me way off. I was like, aren't all the enemies dead? I blinked past the swarmers, felt super cool about that. No, there's a chamber head right behind me. I'm not gonna pretend like I knew what he was called before the death screen told me. But he was right behind me and just sucker punched me in the butt that time. Yeah, this achievement, we hold on to this achievement so proudly. Feature this achievement is annoying. Because it feels so easy, though. That's what's so frustrating about it. It's so infuriating and so compelling. Because I feel like this is easy. I'm like, I've crushed this game a lot. We're fine. We got this. And then, continuously, just go into a room, something stupid happens, and I'm dead. That's been happening a lot. We get a bunch of laser bombs against the final boss, and we just laser him, laser bomb him to death. I'd be totally down for that. We're not doing the bullet hell on sudden death. I'm gonna be happy once we kill. I'm just gonna leave once we kill the the first boss. Let's kill Overlord. I'm I'm outy. Excuse, excuse me. Oh, <laughs> still dudes. Hi. Didn't see you there. Um. Maybe later we can go back and try it for funsies, but I just want this cleared off. And I'm pretty sure if we just leave once we kill the boss, that counts as a victory, and we've done it, and it lets me, it frees me from my turtle servitude. I think. Not 100% on that, but I think it's how it works. 
Charge Freeze or Runic Chain Lightning. Not a big fan of Charge either. But it's Freeze and Piercing, that's pretty good. Hello, Guardiator. The Guardian, the last member of the metal band Guar. He's a drummer, haha, <laughs> because the, the stick. The good joke. 5% damage, always down for damage, even at 300%. Continue down. Alright, first floor down. If only I could create safe states. Collect the bombs and don't be afraid to use them. Even though the last time we did spam them, they didn't save us. But, you know, don't, that, it's not the bomb's fault. That was just a really rough uh, room. Okay, another vault. Getting lots of vaults lately. Ammunition, thank you very much. Stealth, maybe this time. I'll take stealth if it's available. If it's not available. Take the extra bombs. Although Voltaic, you know, it might be good to take Voltaic. We've been losing those Thunderheads a lot lately. If we had Voltaic, it wouldn't be uh, stressful at all. So perhaps I should have taken Voltaic and stopped disrespecting it in sudden death mode. Probably the mode where it's most useful. That's our boss fight. Let's keep looking around. If we want that weapon or not in our weapon room, in our treasure room. Which might just be access to a vault key. I'm pretty happy with this weapon. So I might actually take it. Uh, take the vault key, that is. If it's one of our choices. It's not one of our choices. We'll see in the secret room. Uh, I think I'm better with what we have. Better off with our, better off with our charge weapon. So we fight our boss. We have six bombs against the presence who can teleport right inside of us and kill us immediately. Gotta be very careful about that. Six bombs. Use them. Oh, there goes our weapon. I thought we had more ammunition than that, at least. Not, not. Not on top of me. Not on top of me. Not on top of me. Thank you. My right, presence is down. Find our secret room. It is the vault key. Who would have guessed? Hey. That's, that's fun. I'm into that. You can buy a rickshaw. Ah, Thunderhead. The Nerf Thunderhead. It's nerfed. <laughs> Nerf Thunderhead isn't that good. Evidently it used to be OP. I didn't play around with it during that phase. I would have liked to have seen it. Because now it's not that great, honestly. I've only really played with it in sudden death, though. Maybe in normal mode it's better. Maybe things scale differently. Uh, I'm going to take reserves just because we're on the base weapon right now. Why aren't you dead? How many times did I shoot you for you to be dead? I'm glad they didn't do anything that whole time. It's almost like I did have stealth. Who needs stealth when the enemies are simply being kind to you? Oh, bullets are everywhere. Almost hit me. We're fine, though. Fishies are everywhere. Almost hit me. We're fine, though. We'll just shoot into the... whatever. Shoot in the portal. He'll come get us eventually. Go check out what's in this vault. Weapons, stats, weapons. Bloodless sword or a anti-magic back blast fireball. Uh, back... Back blast fireball might be useful. Also, fireball is just good, period. Being slowed down by water all the time, not so useful. 
don't explode. Those are explosive and they can't kill you. Gain 4% ammunition, but lose half your max ammo. If we get a good weapon... Careful, careful bicycles. Everything's fine. Uh, if we get a good weapon out of our weapon choices, that might be our key to victory. Gain 40% ammunition on a really good weapon. Watch out for exhaust. Successfully watched out for exhaust. Alright, getting excited here. Cautiously optimistic. Because it has to be a secret room here, right? 5% damage. What's our weapon? A homing ring shot. Ooh, a shotgun fireball. Take shotgun fireball. We love shotgun fireball. Homing ring shot. I mean, ring shot. If it was instant recall ring shot, that'd be for sure. Alright, 274 shots of a shotgun fireball. At 324% damage. Why do I lose 1% damage again? What'd I do that loses us 1% damage? Yeah, one thing about shotgun fireball, it doesn't fire very fast. Demon is a scary boss for this. I mean, he's a scary boss anyway. Oh, he just two-shot it. That's, that's good. That's good. I like that. I'm comfortable with that. More two-shotting bosses, please. Oh, that's that shop. Where's that other shop? I have another shop. Let's leave. Six bombs. Ow, I punched my desk. Hope I didn't hear that. Because I felt it. Six bombs, 256 ammunition for a very powerful weapon. This might be... This might be it. Let's not mess around anymore. Too many bombs. Too many bombs. Don't know how you're still alive. Okay. Hopefully we only need 242 fireball shots. Okay. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Get that perk. Stealth now would be good. Yeah, I think I'm down for stealth. Voltaic! It's a little late for discount to be that big of a deal. We'll take Voltaic. Which might save our lives. In particular, certain rooms and enemies like these guys right here. Perfect. Perfect time to pick a Voltaic. Made that much less stressful. Do we have plenty of bombs? We only have one HP. Don't take any risks. I'm probably going to ignore whatever weapon's even in there. I'm still going to be dodging uh, just the out of habit, but now if I'm in a room where I don't successfully dodge it, I'm not going to die because of it. Those are very slow bolts I almost ran into. Please disappear. <clears throat> Please disappear. Throat's getting dry. Couldn't talk too much today. Take that. Take the increased ammunition. Replenish our ammunition. Because this weapon is going to carry us. Shotgun fireball is going to carry us. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi, dumb. Please die. Getting little... Guys getting ahead of yourselves with those fireballs. What's even here? Nah, triple runic's not good enough. Twin shooter revolver's not good enough. They have to be pretty much a instant recall razor of some kind for me to even consider it. Almost ran. I think I maneuvered down there. I didn't realize those were exhausts. Could have been infuriatingly killed by exhaust. I guess we have a vault of some description. Hide out. Wait for him to respawn. Shoot him in the face. Take advantage of our environment as much as we can. No bullets killing me, thank you. Oh, so stressful. Hang out. Okay, still no bullets killing me. What do you have in here? Money, 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 and a not good enough laser. Door boss fight. 
Let's do this. Reactor. Don't want to deal with those bullets. So I did it. Oh, and he's dead. Gives me my ammunition, gives me my bomb. We also accidentally found our secret room, which contains 10% more damage. We're at 340% damage. Alright, this is it. This is, this is the big boys, where it separates the men from the boys. Playtime's over, kids. You think this is just a game? Die in the game, you die for real. Don't show off. Don't show off. Okay. Scary. I almost was showing off too much. Thank you for the bomb. I needed that. Um, how many Nimbi do we need? Once we get our Nimbuses, we have to just have to fight the boss. We can't risk dying some random pleb enemy. Did I say Nimbi? I'm pretty sure. That doesn't seem correct to me at all. Giant lasers! Okay. They had giant. They had giant lasers. In case you couldn't tell, I was quite frightened by that. Yeah, that was a big old waste of time going around that circle. Increases maximum ammunition. We have lots of those going on. We're immune to electricity. I'm thankful. A weapon almost certainly won't take. Yep. Had a bomb for that one small ghost, which is very embarrassing. But I was, I was afraid for my life. Can I say? Yes. Definitely. At this point, I mean, this is the, this is the end, end game right here. So giving up max bomb for some power bombs, not a problem at all. Just can't run towards me while you're exploding. It's scary. One more mini boss. Oh, I'm getting excited. He's going to appear somewhere and you shoot him in the face without him shooting you. No problem. Here's the final boss. Mini boss for the final boss. The boss boss, of course. He's dead. Recover his ammunition. Go fight our boss boss. Six power bombs. Don't be afraid to use them at all. Hello, overlord. You're not so tough. Okay, don't be that desperate with the bombs. <laughs> Calm down the bombs a little bit. Burr. Ah, there's too much going on. My feeble animal brain can't handle it. Ooh, he's dead. He's dead! He's dead! He's a dead man! We've done it! We've done it! Power bombs! Oh, the power bombs are so good. Pick up everything. We're not going to show off. We're leaving. Oh, we've done it. Yes! Achievement. Death. Comma. Suddenly. Achievement locked. Evasive. For never getting hit. Because you can't get hit. Because you die. <laughs> so times hit zero. Got achievement for that too. Just kind of by um, necessity. By definition. Oh, rank. We only got rank A for that. Oh, it's because we didn't explore. We didn't finish exploring the final area. Be in our fear and rush to not die and to complete sudden death. But sudden death is done. We've done it. Feels so good. Can we buy anything in celebration? Can we go on a celebratory shopping trip? 200,000. We can buy the sword ship. It's probably what I want to do just for funsies. Drill seems really cool. But sword ship is something I can guarantee that we have, right? I go up here and just pick sword ship. Sword mode. And then I go to normal. And then we start a run. I'm not going to finish it. We're just going to... Just start sorting some things. We're just gonna look at it. Which everything's green, and we we just sword. Yep, just like it says, sword only. So kind of like the bullet run. We have infinite sword. Can we get other weapons? Well, we'll we'll explore to see if at least we can get other weapons because I am intensely curious about that right now. Are there any weapons in here? There is one. I can't get, afford to gamble for it. Oh, we don't need to be so scared of taking damage. We have back. We have like a normal amount of HP. I'll say how funny it would be if I got through that without taking damage. Yep, 
Hey, I just need to see if there's a weapon room available, please. You don't need to give me like a full run. We already beat Sun Death. I'm just experimenting. It's supposed to be over. It's supposed to be done several minutes ago. I'm just, I'm just looking. I'm just looking. I'm also used to killing things more quickly. Well, and they said swords only. Well, I guess I was curious about this. Swords only, so it's probably swords not only replaces my final weapon. There aren't any other weapons, but there wasn't another weapon. We could gamble for our weapon. So what happens if we do get another weapon? Does it replace the weapon, and our sword becomes our backup weapon, or does it actually... There it is. Or is it actually our only weapon we could take? The answer is... Only weapon we can take that I'm actually salvage. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like, join the video. Uh, join Discord, Twitter, all that. You guys know the deal. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And I guess I have to go take care of my cat. I don't know. I'll see you later.